All right, here's a quick video response as to what I've done to my High Point C9. I have painted the grips, I've painted the top sight, I've painted the bottom of the magazine. I did this by frog tape and 160 grit sandpaper. 160 grit with sticky sides so I can make sure that uh, I can attach to the bar sander that I have as well as my finger to make sure everything's smooth. I use frog tape to make sure it holds well. It's also readily available. My father, as you can tell, loves RC planes. Um, disassembly of the gun. I use a 2.5 millimeter Allen wrench, a hammer to hammer out the back side of the screw while it is held in the safety or locked because the magazine's in it and empty. I use a proper fitting size Phillips head to remove the grips to sand, to sand it down and paint it. On top of that, as you can see, I've also polished the feed ramp. Feed ramp is polished. That was done by a Dremel bit that I got from Harbor Freight, a whole Dremel kit for about 20 bucks with this paste or whatever the hell it is. And uh, this right here, this removed, all that black stuff is the old paint that used to be in the gun. I then finished it off with a polishing compound from number 7, which is probably about 30, 40 years old, so you can't even hold against that. I used Mobile One Synthetic Motor Oil to lube up my gun. And all the paint that I've done is through a Krylon camouflage made with Fusion paint technology, whatever the hell that is. I have no idea. I sent it down anyways to make sure it's pliable. Other than that, the high point is up to you. You do what you do. It's an extremely reliable gun. Blowback design. Can't beat it. It's old school. It works. It's very functional, very practical. Nothing you can say about it uh, would offend me. I would trust my life with this.